tonight, we're learning new details about a December crash in Port Charlotte that killed two. The driver of that car ran away after he crashed the car and never stopped to help his friends. Now investigators need your help finding him. Trish Route with Crime Stoppers has the story. Two young adults, both with bright futures ahead of them, had their lives cut short when they were involved in a fatal single car crash in Port Charlotte in December 2016. Initially, troopers thought Wesley Cherry and Brittany Beanie were the only two people in the car that morning. But an investigation has now led investigators in a whole new direction. Doing um, a more exhaustive investigation, we were able to determine that there was uh, apparently more to the situation than what face value was initially. We were able to determine that the driver of that vehicle was not at scene upon our arrival. When troopers first arrived at US-41 in Harbor Boulevard, they found the two 21-year-olds deceased from injuries sustained in the crash. But a 911 call made it clear that there was a third person involved, an unknown driver, who made the conscious decision to take off and leave his friends to perish. Two passengers injured. I think he killed them. He probably ran away from the car because the car is totally smashed. This car is going to end up getting away with it. Through that investigation, we are able to determine that uh, through the dynamics of the crash, that Wesley was a backseat passenger at the time of the crash, and we have an empty driver's seat that we're going to put someone in. What's known for sure at this point is that Brittany, Wesley, and several friends were at CJ's Tavern in Punta Gorda right before the crash occurred. What investigators now need to know is who they were with, what discussions were had, and most importantly, who was behind the wheel when that fatal crash occurred. A witness described the fleeing driver as a black male between 20 and 30 years of age with balding or short hair. The rest of the information, troopers hope, will come from the public. We would like anyone and everyone that has any knowledge of whether it's relationships, seating positions, um, uh, time of departure, um, direction of departure, anything specific, comments made to come forward. There's potentially something that someone knows out there that would be absolutely crucial to our investigation. The loss of Brittany and Wesley has left families without answers, while a cowardice driver remains unaccountable for his actions. There's a domino effect in cases like this. Someone loses their life. It's, it's tragic to the family. It's tragic to the community. It's tragic to the circle of friends. As a driver of vehicle, you have an obligation to remain on scene. You have an obligation to immediately report. That person did not do either. Lieutenant Greg Bueno of the Florida Highway Patrol says he's hopeful that the truth will come out and that Brittany and Wesley's friends will help them lock in that final piece of the puzzle. We want to uncover the truth, and we want to uncover the truth based on fact. And we want to hold people accountable if they violate Florida statute. And that's our, that's our goal. And if we're going to continue to investigate this crash to we get to a point where we can determine who that driver is. That is our goal. And so that we can bring some resolution to the family. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout. If you know who this driver is, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-780-TIPS. You don't have to give your name and you could earn a cash reward up to $1,000.